Those are YouTubers around the quick video. Back again with my girlfriend, Christy. Say hi, Christy. Oh, hi. <laughs> All right, so again, still doing the quarantine thing. Went for a walk earlier. Did take a picture of that walk earlier. In the rain. We did take a nice walk in the rain. Feet were soaked. But all in all, it was a good three-mile walk just for a little exercise. Uh, what are we doing here today? Well, Christy, uh, my beautiful girlfriend, is going to rank my uh, her favorite um, from my, one of my favorite brands, which is Parfums de Marley. I have five... Um, favorites from the House of Parfums of Marley, and she's maybe familiar with one or two, but it's been a while since she's tried them. Uh, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to have her um, smell them one by one and rank them um, from worst to best. And I'm hoping that she's going to be tripped up a little bit, just because some of these, these are my favorites, some of these are pretty good, and some of these are really popular for a reason. So we are going to start with Carlisle. I did make some uh, little strips here for her to try. And I will let you guys know the notes in these. That way she can hear what's in these fragrances. That way, she, if she picks anything up, she will know. But we're going to start with Carlisle. Many of you guys are probably familiar with this one. Okay. Carlisle, ladies and gentlemen. These are very strong, too, by the way. So Carlisle on the top, we have green apple, nutmeg. In the middle, we have saffron, tonka bean, osmanthus, davana rose. In the base, we have vanilla, patchouli, sandalwood, and a poponax. I like how strong it is, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. yeah. It's, might are they be, all going to be that strong? Most of them, yeah. This is a very like, high-end house. Very, They're all EDPs. Okay, I can smell the vanilla. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I like it, but I don't... I mostly get the green apple on the top. I do get the green apple. I get the vanilla. I get the tonka bean. So it's... So it's green apple like sweet? Yeah. So maybe I'm getting It's kind that. of like sweet. The green apple in this is almost like a candy apple. Like a okay, caramel that, apple or yeah. something like so that. Yeah. So that and the vanilla is yeah. smelling pretty strong. So the vanilla and the apple give it like a caramel apple kind of smell. Okay. The tonka bean. Yeah. So that's why I like it. Um, okay. That's yeah. kind of what I get out of that one. Sort of a caramel apple. But that's one of my favorites. So um, we'll set this one down for now. Next one we have is Herod. Which you guys are familiar with, Herod. Okay. In Herod, in the top, we have cinnamon and pepperwood. In the mid, we have osmanthus, tobacco leaf, frankincense, and cistus. In the base, we have vanilla, cedarwood, vetiver, patchouli, cipriol, and musk. I'm getting the pepper. Mm -hmm. Very spicy. I don't know. Maybe it's the frankincense? Well, this one's known. This one's known for its tobacco fragrance, or this tobacco notes in it. I'm not sure if is you're getting that yet. Sweeter. Well, the vanilla is going to make it sweeter, and this one's oh, known okay. for being like mm -hmm. a, a nice tobacco fragrance, tobacco like a cigar shop type of. Fragrance. I don't know. That took me a minute to get that, but I see where I would have said that. Next up, we have Kalan. This is probably their newest one. I think I'm not sure if, they, if they've released another one since then. At least for unisex. Well, this is for men actually. Uh, I think anyway. This one's been compared to Baccarat Rouge. If you guys haven't tried this one, it's, you know, good fragrance. Um, so, Kalan, let's have her try this one. Okay. All right, the top with this one, we have blood orange, black pepper, and spices. In the mid, we have lavender, orange blossom absolute, and a solar note. Don't know what that is. In the base, we round things off with sandalwood, moss, precious woods, amber, and roasted tonka bean. I definitely am getting the, a woodsy smell. It's like taking a walk, like when you've got trees all around mm -hmm. you, I'm smelling like... Yeah, I'm, I definitely think you're getting the black pepper and the spices in this one. Um, and there's some sandalwood and some precious wood, so it's very woody. Wood, woods yeah, is definitely Woody and spicy. Sure. Uh, this one's been compared to another popular fragrance, but this one sort of stands on its own. It has a little bit to me of the Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe. Uh, but this one's just very masculine and mm. very spicy and very peppery. Yeah, for sure. And uh, slightly sweet and slightly uh, citrusy, but still. Something's offsetting the woods for sure. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that is. That's like, yeah. I don't know. What's the blood orange? What's that? The blood orange is just going to be like a, a citrusy? citrusy. Okay, that's, I think out. that's what it is. Yeah. It's cutting through the wood a little. All right, next up we have Layton. Okay, try that one. And Leighton, in the top, we have mandarin, apple, lavender, and bergamot. In the mid, we have violet, jasmine, and geranium. In the base, we have guyac wood, patchouli, sandalwood, cardamom, vanilla, and pink pepper. I like it for sure. Have I smelled this on you before? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like this one for sure. Yeah, it was in the video last time. Okay, I yeah. I, yeah. I you, did, you, really, you really did like this one. Yeah. 
All right, finally, we have Oajan, which has been compared to Amber Nargili, if you guys have tried that one from Hermes, um, right here. So let's go ahead and give her the sample of this one. All right, Oajan, the top, we have cinnamon, honey, and osmanthus. In the, in the mid, we have benzoin, which is kind of like a vanilla-ish almost, labdamum, amber, and divana. And base, we have patchouli, musk, vanilla, and tonka bean. Okay, the cinnamon is really strong for yeah. sure, which which I like. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the honey from here. I There's something that's cutting. That's what I couldn't tell if it was the vanilla, but if there's honey in it, that's what's doing. It's making it sweeter. Mm -hmm. It smells like um like almost a drink, like, uh, I don't know, like a sweet drink. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say this smells like apple pie, even mm -hmm. though there's no, there's no apple because in this. Cinnamon, but the cinnamon, yeah, it's super strong. The cinnamon is super strong, but I really like it. Yeah, it's just the cinnamon and then something sweet that's mm -hmm. kind of there too. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely oh, all of them are super duper strong. All right, so she's going to check out the dry down on these strips and go over them, and she's going to start to rank them, um, I guess, from one through five, five through one, however you think. All right, guys, so the results are in. Uh, she did pick... Her top five favorite, we're going to start with the worst here. I was very surprised by the ones that she picked because I did have like a little, I made a list for her of my favorites uh, from uh, worst to best. But starting off at number five is Herod. I know some of you guys are probably going to be upset by that one just because this is like a favorite from the house. This one, this one, I mean, it's probably more for guys like this and probably more because it does smell like a tobacco shop and it smells like a cigar and guys love smoking cigars. So, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> number five goes to Herod. Number four, this was a kill shot to my heart because I love this fragrance so much and it lasts a long time. Uh, it smells really, really great. It's Carlisle. Guys, Carlisle came in at number four, which I was very surprised by, but it's okay. Coming in at number three is the newbie to the line of Parfums de Marley. It's Kalan. Uh, this is also the one that was compared to Baccarat Rouge, but like a spicier, more masculine version of Bac Baccarat Rouge, even though a lot of people do... Um, not like that comparison. I can get the comparison a little bit. All right, so coming to number two is Oajan, which is one of the darlings from the House of Parfums de Marley. She really did like this one. She liked the cinnamon and the honey. And uh, she did see, you know, why people compare this one to apple pie. Um, and so she really liked this one. Really great performance on this one as well, guys. So if you haven't tried it, get your nose on it. And if you haven't guessed already, she did like this one. I think either it made number one or number two on the sexy fragrance list that you did a couple weeks ago. And that is Layton coming in at number one, which is a really great performance on this one. Um, it gets lots of compliments. You can wear it year-round because it's sort of fresh. It's fresh, spicy, uh, but also very heavy, so good enough for the cold weather as well. Um, really nice fragrance. I do love this one, so I'm not, um, I'm not mad at her, her choices. Uh, all right, so I'm going to show you guys my list now of my favorites. She doesn't know uh, which ones I like and dislike the most. So coming to number five is going to be Kalan. I do like this fragrance, but it's not my favorite from the house. Um, coming in at number four, which I do love this one. I was saying how much I do like it and how good a quality it is. But Layton. It's still a favorite. There's only five of them. You know, there's a lot more from this line. There's probably 50 fragrances in this line. So uh, I did have, I did purchase and keep my favorites. But Layton comes in at number four, even though I do really like it. Coming in at number three, performance and the compliment factor is just through the roof with this one. Oajan, the apple pie. Uh, coming in at number two, this one just reminds me of growing up. There was a, there was a store called Tobacco Lane at Ridgemar Mall. If any of my Fort Worth folks out there know, uh, what, where I'm talking about, it reminds me of Herod. That is a that was a local um, tobacco shop in town. And coming in at number one is I smell, uh, Brandon over at Art of Fragrance wore this one night, and I always always liked this fragrance. But he actually wore it one night, and it just smelled different in the air compared to how I, whenever I wear it. And sometimes you have to smell a fragrance mm -hmm. on somebody else, and it smelled amazing. And that is Carlisle, guys. That's my number one. Um, so thank you, Kusi, for doing this video with me. Had a lot of fun. Uh, getting a chance, uh, getting to hear uh, your thoughts on the House of Parfums de Marley. They do have some women's ones too, so maybe I'll get you some samples of those. You can try those out. But thank you guys so much for watching another video on my channel. If you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those notifications for future first impressions videos and fragrance related content just like this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Dollars and Cents. There, you'll find fragrance related photos and future contest winners. And as always, until the next video, you guys take care. Thanks.